Hey, how's it going, everyone? GZ from Horns Beer back with another video. I don't know why I did that. I just want to do something different for once. But anyways, besides the point, uh, today we're looking at taking a look at the Specialized Power Pro with Mirror Technology. This is Specialized on Mirror Technology, which is their 3D printed tech on a cheaper version of the saddle. I've always talked about this in the past. Specialized has always offered this on a $450 saddle. They have this on their power saddle and they also have it on a Roman Evo. And I've always said, man, Specialized should really take advantage of this by going after a cheaper price point market. Maybe put it on a expert level saddle, a comp level saddle, a pro level saddle. And so this is the first time we're seeing this kind of iteration be done to their product. Um, what this is, this is their 400, just, just so you guys didn't know, this is a full 3D printed uh, saddle that's supposed to be more comfortable, give you more support. It has all these like little like rubber nodes in there. I think like 14,000 nodes or something like that, which is crazy. But it's it's more supportive than just a dense foam that usually comes in a stock saddle. So this is a really cool technology, but a lot of people don't have a $450 price point or, or just extra cash line around to spend on a saddle. So they're always uh, hesitant to figure out whether or not they want to buy it or not. It is really nice technology. I have this exact same saddle on my bike. It is very comfortable. Now, I did not have any reason to change my saddle. I rode the Power Comp saddle or the Power Extra saddle. My saddle worked great. I was using it for a while. I had no issues with it. I just got this saddle because I want to try it out and it still feels really good. So jump forward to, they brought it to a $325 price point. Now, I'm going to talk about the saddle. We're going to talk about the features. We're going to show everything about it. And then I'll tell you about what I think about the price point, what they should have done. So with this seat, you don't get the carbon fiber rails. And then you get a little bit different of a carbon fiber body, which I'll talk about. The top of the saddle, the 3D printed part, is exactly the same as the S-Works Power. So there's no difference from the $450 one to the $325 one. It's exact same nodes, exact same rubbers, exact same 3D printed process that you would get on this. So you're not getting cheated out of that. But now they make this with titanium hollow rails. And they really are advertising this more towards mountain bikers. Let's say that you want to ride this on your dropper posts, on your downhill bike, on your, oh no, downhill bike, but on your XC bike, on your backcountry bike. Um, and you have these drops, you have these jumps, you have these, uh, just, just stuff that's going to take a little bit more of a beating that maybe your carbon fiber rails might snap on the trail, which is normal to happen because it's impact. This can be better fitted for that and allow people to take a saddle they spent a lot of money on and not have to worry about breaking it. So this is a really nice price point or a really nice feature. If you want to run your mountain bike, you still get a lot of nice things to it. Um, also for the underbelly of the saddle it does not look like the 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 sexy carbon fiber mesh weave that the 450 dollar saddle comes with it's more of just a like a carbon fiber mesh and they call this reclaimed carbon fiber which basically just says this saddle's carbon base built is built with new process utilizing 15 percent reclaimed carbon fiber this is our first step to end the road to close loop production by maximizing your fishing Basically what they're saying is carbon fiber that's pretty much been worn out, that's been clapped out for a little bit. They're taking it and they recycle it to make this body. So this is a carbon fiber shell, but it's called reclaimed carbon fiber. So you're getting a carbon fiber shell, but just titanium rails. Um, great. I guess what you guys are probably gonna wanna know now is what the weight difference is. So what the weight difference was on here for this saddle, I believe, the saddle for the S-Works one that's $450, the 143 is 190 grams. For the Power Pro saddle, that's $325. This one is 240 grams, about, give or take different processes and maybe different batches, but around 240 grams. So you're looking at about 55 grams heavier. Again, not that much difference, but this is where I think they missed the mark. I'm gonna speak honestly with you guys, $325. I know you're getting top tier, of, the three, of their own 3D printed. The material feels great. The saddle feels really comfortable. I can't lie there, it feels really good. But I think they missed a mark that they're competing with their own S-Work saddles. All their S-Work lineup of saddles, their Power, their Phenom, their Roman, their Toupee, every single saddle is $300 there. That's, 300, that's, that's their S-Works. It's very lightweight saddles, very high competition saddles. I think this should have been around the $275 mark 
to really kind of claim it as that entry level power mirror saddle. I mean, there's a lot of other options out there that are still 275. You have the Power Pro with the last gen for 275 that has these little like ultra boost beads inside of it. You have the S-Work saddles for $300 that are lighter than the saddle. Um, so that's just my personal feelings on the whole situation. Um, but Specialized is obviously a huge company and I'm not specialized. I don't make as much money as them. So maybe they have a, a whole marketing team to figure out what that price point should be at. But this right here kind of bothered me when I first saw it. Uh, they are available to order right now, as you can see on Specialized.com, and they give you a 15% off right here if you sign up with your email. I, as a dealer, cannot order them right now. <laughs> but besides the point, if you guys were looking to get them, you guys can them ship to your house or ship to your store if you want to help out your local store. But I do think that it's cool to see them trickle down this technology from their $450 saddles into some different, and maybe, who knows, maybe later on down the road we see a, a cheaper version of this, maybe with a plastic saddle body we get rid of the reclaimed carbon fiber you do a plastic body maybe keep the titanium rails and it gets into that 200 dollar price point range similar to like what physique has for their saddles this technology is great comfortability on the bike is huge you want to be able to be comfortable on the bike because the more you're comfortable on the bike the more miles you ride the more fun you'll have and the more enjoyment you'll get out of riding so if everyone can experience comfort in saddles alone i get questions asked all the time is this saddle right for me? I'm having saddle sores. I'm in pain. They're all subjective. It's very hard to find. But when you have this kind of technology to help out, this would be a really good saddle for me to say, hey, first option, try this out. But the price point's still really high. So if it gets to that mid two levels, I can maybe say, hey, bite the bullet, get this going, and uh, give this a try to really save your butt while riding because no one wants to be uncomfortable while riding. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Just to recap, this saddle is $325. The weight on a 143 millimeter saddle is about 240 grams, and it is in stock right now at Specialized.com, 143 millimeter and 155 millimeter. You guys can check out there. Giveaway video should be live tomorrow. Um, my house is under maintenance right now. We got a full renovation of everything. So as you guys can see, I have boxes in the background, closet space. We're remodeling all the tile on the floor, so I'm exhausted. I'm not doing it personally, but just it's been a whole nightmare. I, I don't even want to talk about it. But um, anyways, I'm excited. Hopefully, I'll get out there and do some riding soon. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video.